Hey everybody, to uh, change directions here in uh, the video making arena, um, this story here from Minuteman News, you guys all need to become familiar with what's going on here, that the UN is declaring that the arms trade treaty will go into effect December 24th of this year. What does all this mean for us? Well, I'm going to show you some of the, the articles that were in this UN trade uh, uh, agreement treaty. Um, that Article 2 of the treaty defines the scope of the treaty's prohibitions. The right to own, buy, sell, trade, or transfer all means of armed resistance. Armed resistance? You, oh, you mean armed resistance against our own tyrannical government? Oh, that kind of resistance. Oh, we can't have that, can we, UN? Oh, okay. So now you guys remember the story that I did about the United Nations and the DDR officer that disarm disable and uh, uh, reintegration or officer I, I kind of remember what the acronym stood for but the DDR officer that they brought in for the the New York office are the is the UN going to be implemented to come in and help take away the guns of the citizens of the United States that remains to be seen yet but let us go on here this also includes handguns and is denied to civilians by this section of the arms trade treaty Article 3 places the ammunition and munitions fired also within the scope of the treaty's prohibition. Article 4 rounds out the regulations also placing all parts and components of weapons within the scheme of this UN trade treaty right. agreement. Perhaps the most immediate threat to the rights of gun owners in the arms trade treaty is found in Article 5. Under the title of General Implementation, Article 5 mandates that all countries participating in the treaty shall establish and maintain a national control system, including a national control list. This, should, this list should apply the provisions of this treaty to the broadcast, bro, excuse me, broadest range of conventional arms. Article 12 adds to the record-keeping requirement mandating that the list include the quantity, value, model, type, authorized international transfers of conventional arms as well as the identity of end users of these items now it does go on to state here that if a country such as the united states decides that they need help if these countries can't get this done on their own however article 16 provides for u.n assistance specifically including help with enforcement of stockpile management disarmament oh that's it demobilization yes Disarmament, demobilization, and reintegration officer. That was the position that the United Nations was hiring for out of their New York office, out of their New York location. In fact, a voluntary trust fund will be established to assist those countries that need help with UN peacekeepers or other regional forces to disarm their citizens. Well, the only thing left here that they claim that needs to be done is for the United States Senate to ratify the treaty. If we see the ratification of this treaty by our Senate, that should be your clue that it is time to rise. I, I don't know any other way to put it to you all. They are going to be coming if this goes through. If this happens and you see the Senate ratify this, you, it, you know that our time is short and we're going to have to do what we got to do. Well, I just thought I'd share the story with you. I will leave a link in the description box. And regarding the other situation, there will be more to come because I do have more. I just got to uh, do some other things here. That's all. All right, everybody, thanks.